When I was in Japan, they surprised me with a traditional kimono fitting and the process was so much more intense than I ever could have imagined. This is Magi and she's an instructor at Yamano Beauty College in Shinjuku, Tokyo. Yamano Beauty College is the biggest beauty institute in all of Japan and when I tell you that it's so much more difficult to get through beauty school in Japan, you have to go for years and then you have to apprentice under someone else for four to five years. So it's a very long process and they're not not burning people's hair off over there if you know you know so Moggy started off doing this very elaborate traditional japanese hairstyle on me she sectioned my hair into ponytails kind of to the side and then she rolled my hair into a bun and then spread my hair over this stuff that she put in my hair it looked like hair itself like a hair bun and i tried to google and see what it was called but i could not find it this hairstyle took at least a couple of hours if not a lot more but i was having so much fun that i lost track of time getting to know Moggy during this process was my favorite part of it because she's such a kind and selfless and extremely talented person. And girl, when she started adding the flowers and the jewels to my hair, oh, I knew we were so made. And when she held that mirror up in the back so that I could see it, you could not wipe the smile off of my face because I've never seen something more beautiful. And then it was time to put on the kimono. And please look at how gorgeous this kimono is. It has rhinestones and it's pink. I couldn't take a lot of footage of them putting this on me because a lot of the undergarments are sheer, but when I tell you there are layers and layers and layers under this, I have so much respect because I did not know how much went into this. And it took both Moggy and Jane. She is the owner of Yamano Beauty School and one of the most loveliest humans ever, but it took both of them to put me in this and the back of the bow, which is called the Obi, it is so elaborate and it takes so much skill to do that. I cannot believe it. It's so amazing. And then they helped me put on the Gaita sandals and taught me how to walk in them, which is to point your toes inwards and walk like you're walking on a straight line. And they were cheering me on the whole time. It was so sweet. <laughs> And then they introduced me to the ladies who were participating in the beauty competition. Can you do a spin? That was Steven, head of the team, the funnest person ever. Also, the team that made my kimono also made one for Miss Japan for the Miss Universe pageant. And then they set up this really nice photo shoot. I got to take pictures with the team and then we got to invite the girls in. Everyone in this frame and everyone behind the scenes made me feel so special and so beautiful and they went above and beyond for me and I cannot even express how honored I feel. This was truly one of the best experiences of my entire life so far.